Oh, I see. I just saw it. Where'd it go? Hey guys, it's YB, and we have all the pets over here. Herbert's in Germany right now, so we're doing a video by ourselves. Try to get all three of them in here. It's quite hard, actually. So I thought it was about time to do a pet update. It's been a while since, you know, we first got Coco. Oh, Tyrion, stay. See, it's hard to get all of them to stay here. Before they all run away, let me start the story. So now Tyrion is actually smaller than Coco. And she's gone. All right. I didn't think that was gonna last long, but at least we got the intro. So Coco is huge now. As you can see, he is about 11 pounds. And I think when we started the video, he was only barely three pounds. He grew rapidly. I mean, he's a male ragdoll who can grow up to 20 pounds. So he's still in the growing phase, right Coco? So I'll show you guys all the clips that I recorded throughout Coco's growth. And yeah, it's just be a cute pet video this time. As you guys can refer to the older videos, Coco and Louis got along almost right from the beginning. Louis had to learn to be a little more gentle in the beginning, but soon he caught up and he, they became good friends. They still play a lot together. And now that Coco's bigger, he can actually play with Louis a lot more roughly. So they do play a lot together. Tyrion and Coco, that was like the big improvement, right? From the first two videos, that was like a big deal, them getting along because for cats, it's a very different story, introducing a new animal. They're not still at a phase where they're cuddling or, you know, what I want, but I would say they definitely have, well, Tyrion mainly, have grown to tolerate Coco. She only hisses if Coco is bothering her too much, which he sometimes does, because he's still a kid. He's about 10 months now, so he's still a baby, just a big baby. So he does bother her a few times and I have to stop him but whenever he does that, she hisses. <laughs> <Tea. laughs> but I've caught them sleeping together a few times, not cuddling, but on the same bed, or sometimes kind of play fighting together. But I think they will be eventually. I know it could take years for cats to really, really get along. So I think they had a pretty good start. video of me giving them a bath. Uh, I had to give them a bath because Coco, well, he was still learning to use the litter box and still getting poop everywhere. And Tyrion was also rolling around in that litter box, so I had to give her a bath. So this is when Coco was still probably like eight, nine pounds. So here's the video. Okay, okay Coco's paw. No, baby. Tyrion, she's so small now. Yeah. Look who's cleaning you now. I know you're mad. You're next. All right, now. Oh, he voluntarily comes in. right now with his paws. <laughs> Coco, when did you become a little rat? Mm, Coco, are you a little rat? <laughs> so Coco, 
Coco has long hair, so he needs to be dried with a hair dryer. You guys are probably wondering how I'm dealing with all these pet hair. Well, it's hard and I need the help of a robot. And here's a quick sponsorship of a robot vacuum I'm using. Hey guys, so before we continue, let me go over the robot vacuum and mop that's been saving my life from all this pet hair in the house. So the robot that's been helping me around the house so much is Dreamy's D9 robot vacuum and mop. First of all, I think the most important is the navigation. What was the coolest was I downloaded the app. You have to download the app and set it up. And once you connect it to your phone, you can actually see it mapping out the apartment the first time it's going around. The coolest thing is once it maps it out, I can divide the rooms and assign the rooms. Each room is color coded differently and I've labeled them. My favorite virtual no-go zones, so you can add a virtual wall on your phone. I put it in my living room area because there's my high carpet and usually robots get stuck there. So instead of having to block it up every time, I could just put up a virtual wall on the app, which was very, very useful, very convenient. I don't ever have to worry about it getting stuck there when I'm not home. So once you get the vacuum going, it will vacuum all around the apartment and it will map it out so you can see that every single place that was accessible has been cleaned. And obviously there's a mopping function which is great for hardwood floors. So this was Dreamy Tech's D9 robot vacuum and cleaner. This is my favorite favorite robot vacuum so far. I really recommend it especially if you have a lot of pets in the house. There's just so much hair that could be cleaned. My bin is always full even though I run it every single day. You can either buy it on Amazon or on the official website. I've linked both links below. And I have a discount for both, one for Amazon and one for the website. The Amazon one is 20% off and the website one is 10% off. And I hope with Dreamy Tech's robot vacuum, you can keep a clean house. And now back to the video. Coco is starting to shed a lot. That's just something I'm gonna have to deal with, but Louis shed so much anyway already. The best thing about Coco, I think, is that he catches bugs. Somehow Coco finds and hears them, so he starts going crazy in like a hunting mode whenever he sees a fly, like before I even see it. Okay, this is how I know there's a fly in the house because Coco is chasing it like crazy. I'm wearing headphones because I freak out at the buzzing sound. Oh, I see it. I just saw it. Where'd it go? Did you find it? Did you lose it? Darian, what do you think about the fly? You don't care? Louis? What do you think about the fly? Where's the fly? Oh, I see it. I see it. It's right there. It's right there. <laughs> Oh, is that the window finally? He just sat down, frustrated. <laughs> you have to find the fly. Where did the fly go? We got it again. We got it again. Is it at the window? Oh, it's right there. Okay, okay, okay. I'm gonna slowly close. All right, guys, thanks to Coco, we finally trapped it right there between this. So now I'm gonna open the outside part. Ah, uh, okay, okay. Now we can please get out. That would be great. Flat! Yay! The fly left! Thank <laughs> God! It's your Coco. Mwah. He's a true winner of this household.
is exactly how he lays every single day. No fluff. Oh, is that fluff? Okay, so for the closing, I want to get Tyrion back in here. Do you think we can do that, Louis? Be right here, please. Thank you. All right, we got all three pets in here. Before they run away, I'm going to end this video. That was our pet update. Hope you guys enjoyed it. They are doing very great. I'm so happy I have all of them, even though <laughs> Tyrion's like not happy being here right now. It's okay. That was our video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and we will see you next time. Say bye.